Hey guys, Matt aka Martin here and welcome to another video. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is a little quick thing showing you how to create some really cool semi-randomly generated arpeggio patterns using just stock Ableton Live MIDI effects. So, let's jump right in. Alrighty, so I've got an Ableton Live set open up here with just this cool little kind of really simple plucky sound that I've just quickly created. Sounds like this. And the velocity is mapped to the filter frequency so that the velocity changes a little bit because it's going to be useful for what we're going to be doing. So if I play it lightly, you'll hear it. It's really kind of soft, but then I hit it harder, it opens up the filter a lot more. So what we're going to do to start with is bring in an arpeggiator. And this is going to be the basis for this kind of arpeggio pattern that we're going to be creating. So pick a rate, whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to go with 16th notes for this one. And I'm going to set the style to random other. You can choose any of these three random ones. Basically what random does is it just picks a random note from whatever the pool of notes is that you're feeding into it. Random other picks one random note from the pool of notes. And then the next time it picks something else. And then random once will cycle through the notes that you're feeding it in a random fashion without repeating any of the notes until it reaches the end of the cycle. So for this one, what I'm going to pick is random other because it tends to be my favorite. And if we just play this MIDI clip that I've got in here, which is a C minor nine chord, I'm just going to hit play. Sounds pretty cool already, but what we're going to do is make it so that we can create some sort of uh, randomness and variation to this pattern. So next thing we're going to do is something that you guys may have seen me use a little bit in my previous videos because I've created it as a MIDI effect rack for myself to do this exact thing but we're gonna create it from scratch today. So what I'm gonna do is drag in a velocity MIDI effect. I'm gonna set the out low value to 64 and the out high value to 64 as well. And then I'm gonna set the random value down the bottom here to 64. And what this is gonna do is randomize completely any of the incoming velocities so that they will jump anywhere from zero to 127. And if I play this now, you'll hear this effect because we've got a uh, velocity mapping on the sound. See how it's randomly jumping between all of these different sounds. I'm gonna just pull up the gate here a little bit on this arpeggiator. There we go, that sounds a little bit better. So the next thing we're gonna do is pull in another velocity plugin. Actually, what I'm gonna do is just duplicate this one we've already got here because it's gonna be using pretty much exactly the same settings. Next thing I'm gonna do is group these two things and I'm gonna call this MIDI effect rack note pass because basically what it's gonna do is randomly choose the amount of notes within certain parameters that are allowed to pass through into the instrument and actually be heard as sound. So first off, I'm going to open up the macro panel there, close up that, and then I'm going to change the mode on this second velocity effect to gate. Now, what this is going to do is mean that it only passes notes within the certain range of velocity that we set. So I'm going to drag the lowest velocity down to zero, and then I'm going to macro map this top velocity here or top value there to macro one. And what this allows us to do is change this with the macro knob and basically this is pretty much it um so what we're going to do now is i'm just going to hit play on this sound and then move this little macro knob here and you'll hear that different amounts of notes get passed through depending on the less or higher value that we have the knob set to now the next thing you can do which is really cool is if you want to give some more control to this you can right click and map the random value to macro two. And this will uh, control how random the outgoing velocity is to the instrument. So if I have this all the way down to zero, you'll hear now that the sound that you're hearing is consistent in terms of its frequency, uh, in terms of its filter frequency cutoff position because there's the same velocity value going into it. 
Now, the next thing you can do in terms of this as well is map both the out high and out low knobs to macro three. And then I'm gonna set this to 64. But what this will do is allow you to control the exact velocity value that is being fed into the instrument. And then if you wanna add some randomness to it, bring up the random macro that you created. And basically now what macro three acts, at is, acts as is a kind of average velocity value depending on what this random macro that you've got is set to. And now that you've got this little uh, MIDI effect rack, you can name the macros to whatever you want. I'm gonna rename this macro one to uh, note pass. I'm gonna leave this as random and I'm gonna put this as average velocity. And now I know exactly what each of these knobs do. I'm gonna set these two values that I want to start with. So let's set the note pass to 64, the random to 64, um, and the average velocity to 64 as well. Um, just kind of pretty average values there. And then what we can do is hit the little save button in the top left-hand corner, press enter. And now you'll be able to access this exact plugin that you've got here or this exact MIDI effect rack from your user library to drag in whenever you want it. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. And hopefully you learned something about how Ableton MIDI effects work, particularly the velocity effect. You can get some really, really cool sounds and interesting patterns by mucking around with MIDI effects. And I think I'm gonna do a few more videos on this topic just because I've done a lot of it and I'd love to do it. And you can get some really, really cool stuff out of it. As always, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you really enjoy my content, consider heading over to my Patreon page and supporting me on there. I'm probably gonna put up this rack for a download on there for all my patrons as well. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Martil and I'll see you in the next video.